Hello everyone, my name is Hydro, and today I'm walking you guys through how to install LSPDFR 0.4.8 to your GTA 5. Just before we get started, if you guys haven't already, then make sure you consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel just to help me out and to make me want to upload more videos. And if you guys want to join my Discord and get just a little bit more involved in my community, and maybe you want to talk to me directly, and maybe you want to suggest me some video ideas for me to do in the future, and maybe you just need some help with LSPDFR in general that maybe I can't reply to in a comment for. Make sure you join my Discord. There's gonna there's a great help team there at the moment. And maybe if you guys want to help yourself, then you can join my Discord as well. There's a short little application that you guys have to do. It's very easy, very simple. You just do that and you're straight away in the help team as long as you meet the requirements. And trust me, the requirements aren't that difficult. So if you guys are looking to join an active community for Discord, then make sure you join my Discord down in the description below. And make sure you can consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel for many more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and now we'll carry on with the video. The first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link in the description below. That's going to bring you right here to the LSPDFR first response page. As you guys can see here, it does say that some antivirus software programs will mark LSPDFR as a virus. So just before you come to me asking for how to fix your LSPDFR, then make sure you turn off your antivirus real-time scanning before looking for any help. As the majority of the time, that will be the that will be the reason of your LSPDFR not working, especially installing a new version of it. So, as always, the first thing you guys want to do is come down here and click download this file. Screen big this big green button. It's going to give you a little user agreement. There's nothing you need to worry about. Nothing very serious. You can read it if you want. Click agree and download. Install the newest version to you, and make sure you are installing the manual install.zip. Click download on that, wait for that to pop up and begin installing. There you guys go, as you guys can see there, it is installing right now. Shouldn't take too long, it's only a 76 megabyte download, but it will take longer than installing your average car pack, because there are only a few megabytes, maybe one or two, sometimes a few kilobytes. So you can open that one up, and it will open up as soon as it's finished installing, it's not going to take very long now. And there you guys go, and it's opened up your uh, speedy file download. Now you can minimize out of your Internet Explorer, go to your home page, and all you guys want to do is bring up your file explorer, and go to whatever drive you've installed your old GTA 5 on. So for me that's Windows C, then Program Files 86, Steam or Rockstar Games, Steam Apps, then Common. Now all you guys want to do is go into the folder you want to mod for your GTA 5, so for me it's this one here. Bring up your download, highlight all of these files right here. All you guys got to do then is just control, alt, control and deselect licenses. And if you don't know how to deselect, then you just control and left click with your mouse. And all you guys got to do is make sure you have a little blank space here where you can do this and no file is highlighted. Grab all these files and just drag and drop. This is also the same for updating your LSPDFR. So it's the same way to do all of this. As you guys can see there, it's just going to give you an items moving thing. That's just moving all the files from the download over to your game file. It won't take very long at all. As you guys can go there, see there even, it is already finished. Take a few seconds. And there we go. Now you guys have successfully installed LSPDFR 0.4.8 to your GTA 5. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Excuse my English there. Had a minor stroke. If you guys haven't already considered subscribing, then make sure you do so. Comment down below how I helped you. You can even comment down below how I didn't help you. Maybe I can fix that for you. If you guys haven't joined my Discord already, make sure to do so if you want to join an active community. Maybe if you want to help some people, then make sure you join my Discord and apply for the helper team. You can be one of the first to join the helper team. So thank you guys so much for watching my video today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.